traders, Raggy here. We're taking a look at the S&P on the five minute time frame. And this really encompasses what we dealt with today on this last ox, uh, options expiration Friday for, for 2021. After a pretty healthy rally, we just ended up chopping throughout the session. And, but frankly, I mean, this is, this is a question I always ask myself. Do we go anywhere new? What do I mean by that? Do we go anywhere new? Well, intraday, I can't say that this was anything other than finding a range and staying within it. But when you take a look at the daily time frame and where we are right now, we're in this rebalancing act, right? That's what's happening right now. And if we think about the catalyst right now, the most significant catalyst for psychology, on one hand, we have bonds. Bonds are saying, well, Fed, you might be a little too hawkish and we think you might change your tune as we go into 2022. The Fed fund futures have actually aligned a little bit more with a potential May to June window for the rate hike, which is a little bit sooner, which is where bonds might be you know, out there saying, yeah, liar, liar, pants on fire, probably not gonna be as hawkish as you're saying. Right? Then we have the equity markets. We have stocks who are caught up in the middle of this confusion. When you think about confusion, that's the opposite of a trend. Confusion is a distribution market. Chop, range bound, not consistent follow through from session to session. When you think about the environment and you think about what we're seeing, it's hard to be too bearish. And think about where we are. Yes, it was a down day, but we're holding some pretty good support. The last time the market threw a little bit of a tantrum was when the Federal Reserve said, yeah, we blew it. Inflation is not transitory and we're going to have to hike rates sooner. The equity markets recovered from that pretty darn nicely, and they're just now holding their own. This is hard to call a bearish market. It's hard to say Santa's not coming. Well, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's been choppy since the 1st of December. Again, did today's weakness take us anywhere new in the context of support and resistance with the Darvis and, and the most recent range? No, we're still stuck in the range, which still then reflects this confusion that I'm referring to with the Fed fund futures and the bonds and how equities are just in the tug of war between that. Where we don't have confusion, and there are corners of the market where we don't have confusion, XLK still maintaining an uptrend. XLY has does not have an uptrend, right? So I want to contrast here. What about XLV? This is actually regaining its uptrend. XLF does not have a trend. So you can see the contrast. Now what about things like home construction? Home builders. Pretty decent trend still intact. Right? Not great, but still holding. Semiconductors, again, not awesome, but still holding. So as we look into the latter half of December, and then we go into the Santa rally, which is your last week of December, right? This is where we're going into uh, what we're looking at as far as window dressing slash the Santa rally. There are certain corners of the market that are still looking ready for that strong sectors, strong stocks will get stronger. Weak corners of the market, weak sectors, XLC, IYZ. I've talked a lot about these two corners of the market. I'm not going to look for opportunities to get long. I have been asked, do you think that there is some rotation going on, that there is uh, you know, money rolling out of strength and into weakness? And I'm really not seeing that yet. I'm really not seeing that yet. And December's typically not a month for it. I say typically because... Of course, there are exceptions, but if someone were to ask me, do you think that XLK will be sold so that money can flow into IYZ in December? I'd say no. I'll look for this to be sold, and, and this is the IYZ, by the way, and driven back down, while XLK, NASDAQ, S&P have a better shot at continuing to move higher. XLV, better shot at moving up higher. So let's not think about rotation here. This is the balancing or rebalancing act we're looking at. Uh, it makes sense for balancing to be over by 
options expiration. We know that we're going to have a holiday affected week next week. This still, I believe, sets up in the specific areas that we've talked about. Santa's coming. Are there going to be corners of the market? They're going to have a piece of coal in their stocking? Probably double red markets are where that's going to happen. But there's still strength that makes sense to benefit from some window dressing as we wrap up the year. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll look forward to seeing you at Charts and Coffee on Monday at the Simpler Trading YouTube channel at 9 a.m. Eastern. If you have a question and you're on the YouTube channel right now, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Smash that like button on your way out. And as always, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.